Hi all. Hope you are doing well. Today, here I will be telling you how to use Adobe Illustrator Blend Tool. We will see different options of blend and let you know how we can create magic artworks using Blend in Illustrator. You can blend objects to create and distribute shapes evenly between two objects. You can also blend between two open paths to create a smooth transition between objects, or you can combine blends of colors and objects to create color transitions in the shape of a particular object. So let's start. Create a circle using ellipse tool from the toolbar. Fill gradient color in it and remove the stroke. Now choose a good gradient combination. Start dragging the circle using press and hold alt button to create a duplicate copy of circle to the right side a little far. You can also press and hold shift button to make it align straight along with the first circle. Change the gradient colors of the second circle to something bright colors with combination to first circle. Now that we have two circles, go to Object, move down to Blend and choose Blend Options. Select specified steps from the drop down and put value 200 in the field and hit OK. Now select both the circles and again go to Objects, move down towards Blend, choose Make and you see a bar created in between the two circles. You can also notice how the colors go in between. Now see the magic of blend. I have created a stylish single stroke of a bird. Now look at how the blend of circles create a nice bird using this path. Select the bird stroke and the two blended circle at the same using shift button. Go to objects, move down to blend and choose replace spine and you're done. The stroke converted to a blend path with the colors of our choice and shapes. Zooming in, here you see some jerks in the path. To make it smooth looking, select the path, move to objects down towards blend and choose blend options, here, just increase the spacing in the field to 500 and hit OK. Now it is smooth. Select a circle using direct selection tool and press enter, scale dialog box appears. Enter the value 60% in the uniform field and hit OK, the circle will downsize 60%, select the other circle and make it downsize to 60%. Now it looks good. Once you create a blend, the blended objects are treated as one object. If you move one of the original objects, or edit the original object's anchor points, the blend changes accordingly. In addition, the new objects blended between the original objects don't have their own anchor points. You can expand the blend in order to divide the blend into distinct objects. You can also reverse the blend and switch the positions of circles. To do this, move to Objects, Blend, Choose reverse spine and you see the circles have changed the positions. Now you can just select the two circles, play with them and make different colors and gradients to see how it looks. Use reverse spine to switch the positions. And we're done to know how blend is used in Illustrator.
Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the Illustrator tutorial on Blend. Don't forget to subscribe our channel, click the Creative Alley's logo at the right bottom of the video to subscribe and get more great information, tips, and tricks of Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator and other design tools. Also visit our website www.creativealleys.com for free graphic design resources including vectors, PSD mockups, web templates, fonts, icons, and more. Here check some more nice videos for you.